Axel. I learned from a new friend, Dr. Zan, that the Syndicate is back with a new clever plan to take control of the city by replacing top-ranking officials with identical robots under the control of Mr. X. Our old boss, the Chief of Police, has disappeared and everybody in the city is preoccupied with the recent spate of bomb explosions. I fear the Syndicate's evil plan is already underway. Adam is too busy to help, but his brother Skate is joining Dr. Zan and me to try and get behind the bombing campaign and expose the real danger to the city. We need your help, Axel. Please come. Your partner, Blaze. Hello everyone, I'm Mikko and I love gaming, and this is Streets of Rage 3. Let's jump right in there. So yeah, newest addition to the roster is Dr. Zan, who I don't think I'll be playing though. He's a fairly interesting design with his robotic body and wheels on his heels, but uh, eh, I think I'm gonna go with Blaze again. They set us up the bomb. Phew, that was close. Another few seconds of boom. Yes, we're lucky we found the bomb. What's our next move, Axel? Well, Dr. Zan was right about the bomb. Maybe he's right about the robots too, but I'll have to see it to believe it. Let's try to get a lead from these punks. I'm sorry you don't believe me, Axel, but there's no time to waste. Let's go. Let's go. Stage one, Sato. So uh, yeah, they made a few updates to the system again. Up, oh. getting hit, but it is not one of them. Uh, the run is now universal; everybody can do it, which uh, is really quite nice. Actually, gives a nice boost to mobility. To everybody except Skate. I guess he's probably still the fastest mover in the bunch, but at least he's not the only one who can run. Another thing, can you, if you can see that blue bar right there in the middle. That lets me do my uh, my uh, special button move without losing any life. Just gotta let it charge up, and I can do one for free without any life cost. If I want to do another one while it's still charging, then that's gonna take off some life like it did in the previous game. I think that's pretty good. Like makes the makes the special moves a lot more accessible when there's you don't always have to wait. Oh, actually, I can do while they're in grapple. Oh, that's good. Last time I'm gonna get hit by it three times. There you go. You don't always have to weigh, like... Oh, come on! Weigh in whether uh, it's worth it to lose a bit of life doing the move and uh, avoid taking hits. Jamin! Germans for everybody. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, another thing you add, as you can see right there, is a uh, weapon durability. You can only take so many, so many effective attacks with the weapon until it breaks. Not the biggest fan of that one. You know, I, I guess it helps with balancing that they can design it so that yeah, you're not going to be armed with a weapon the entire fight, but. Uh, Ah, oh, the McBride and and McLeod. The Scots are attacking. In business suits and guns. They're no match for a blaze. But yeah, not, not run it. I just like they make make the uh, special moves more accessible. But then they make, you know, weapon use less so, because, you know, using the weapon eventually makes it break. I don't, uh, yeah, not the biggest fa- Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that, shit. Yeah, I still can't suplex the big fat guys, which is, uh, just sensible. Didn't even mean to try. Come on, Dwight. Come get some. And 
and up. Of course I get life here, which I did not need at all. <laughs> oh, alright. Why can I not hit him? He's right there. That's kind of stupid. Ah, it's bikers. They're just some of the most annoying enemies. They're just here to slow me down, annoy me. So I can only get in like one flying kick on him. It's not even very satisfying. Ugh. Most enemies you can at least like give them a beat down and that feels good. Scarabs and ice. Down. Mm. That wasn't standing in the right spot for the last dude. Felt a lot like I just couldn't hit it because he was half off screen. Which would be kind of silly. Alright. Oh, cool. But I really don't need it right now. And remember you do. Up, oh, more. Oh, a bunch of baldies. Including Bono. Oh no. Oh shit, he moves really fast. Look at him go. There we go. Haha! -ha. That's a good use for the turkey. And we're in the street. We usually start out in the uh, urban street level. This time I started out in the factory. Or, you know, storage yard, whatever. In the industrial e building. Er. Get off me. Can't seem to recall if everybody was this vocal in the uh, previous game. Yeah, that's a little weird. I do my uh, full combo even when he doesn't connect. Usually in fighters, you just keep throwing the jab. Uh oh. It's Kung Fu dude time. Shiva. gonna do something. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, grabbed. Hmm. Yeah, I guess... It's fairly... Seems fairly safe to just jump kick the crap out of him. Yep, come get some. Oh no! You figured it out. Or just because I missed. No. Oh! I see! You got one of your own! And I missed completely. Ah. Uh. No. Oh, come on. For the Kung Fu guy, he's not very prepared for the flying kicks at all. Oh no, no! Phew. Don't you dare grab me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Bye. They just fly away. Yay, bonus. Truly super important to me. Can't believe it. No one told me a thing. <laughs> That's a sad state to be in. We're wasting time fighting these punks. I think I have an idea where to go now. I hope you're right.